morning. Today is a special day. You know why? Because I'm going to pick my new guitar. And actually, if you didn't know, the guitar that I, did you see me playing in my videos? I inherited that one. So that was my dad's guitar, but I love it so much. And I miss it so much. Yeah, I couldn't take it with me. So if you didn't know, I moved to Chennai. And I couldn't take it with me on the plane because it was just way too expensive. So today is the day and I'm going to pick my very new guitar and um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous, it's like a picking a new child, yeah. <laughs> I'll try to take you with me, I'm a really bad vlogger and I always forget, but I'll try, I'll try my best and we'll see. Hi. <laughs> Where are you heading today? and I realized that I never recorded anything else after coming out of that music shop uh, like yeah that is bad <laughs> I wanted to give you one final update on what guitar did I actually chose you didn't see me playing many guitars I actually didn't play that many at all I think I played around three and after that I was pretty much set on which one I wanted to buy the first guitar you saw me play it was a Fender uh, it was beautiful guitar I really loved it but it was quite small I think you can even tell in the video I was like there's like so much space in here it was a beautiful guitar but then he put this one in my hands and I was like yeah that's better like it so I personally prefer when the body is bigger and it kind of reminded me of my guitar that I have back at home as well so this is Yamaha FGX 800C it's beautiful i love it so much it's electroacoustic so you got a tuner here you can plug it in the amp which i don't have currently um batteries go in here but you know i'm not gonna do this like unpacking tell you all about it because to be honest i'm not that good with guitars which you might think but no i'm not i learned by myself so i'm still short on so many technical terms uh, I can tune it by my ear, everything, I can play most of the things I want to, but the technical part, just a side note, this is not what I want to talk about. Uh, when you ask me how I'm uh, doing the strumming and everything on some of my songs, I find it hard to explain it to you because I just play the way I hear it, if that makes sense. So if you want to hear it in its full beauty you can check down the link below and yeah i think it's off oh there is one more thing i actually want to show you so capo for me is like a must have i use it all the time and i always used to have uh, the steel ones i'm sure you know what i'm talking about but actually the guy in the music shop recommended this one to me it's plastic it has like a rubber lining in here 
and I was skeptical at first. I was like, what is that? I would, just give me my steel one. And he said, no, nope, let's just try this one. I have it for so many years and it just, it's amazing. And it is amazing. So sometimes with the steel ones, it can get a bit loose and you need to buy a new one. Obviously I'm playing only for two weeks, but it's very unlikely that this is gonna get loose. It's perfect. It takes bits of time to get used to it, you know, how to uh, put it on and put it off quickly. But it is amazing. It is seriously amazing. I love it. I don't remember what is it called, but I will find out and I will put it in the description below if you would like to get it. I also have this strap. So beautiful. Uh, I'll link that below as well. I got this one from Amazon, I believe, because I didn't find any that I like there. And yeah, I don't know what else could I say because I'm a new in these things. Is it so weird to you like it is to me that I'm not singing and I'm just talking and sitting here? It's just like weird. Okay, so I hope you like my vlog.